Hey guys, so the first episode of Moonlighter has been recorded and edited, and I hope you guys will actually pick it up and watch it. I'll be uploading it very, very soon. Anyways, thank you guys for listening to this little broadcast, and let's get back to your regularly scheduled programming. What's up guys, Pop Eagles back in the nest, and welcome back to Stormbound. And if you'll notice, I'm actually here on the shop page, and uh, there's a super clever reason behind this. <clears throat> <coughs> Allow me to present the new game mode. Brawl. Uh, okay, so, as you guys have probably figured out by now, the Brawl update is out, which means the Elders are also in the game. So, let's quickly go ahead and look at it and see what's up. So, as you can see, I've already completed two matches because you get five crowns for a win. So, I played two, I won two, <clears throat> um, and I'm on this next milestone here. Uh, as you can see, it's already going to cost me 20 coins to battle. Now... Um, if I win twice in a row, then it only cost me 40, obviously. But if I start to lose, it's going to cost me more than 40. Anyways, let's go ahead and look at the new el Elder card out here, the Trekking Alderman. After surviving damage, deal 2 damage, spread randomly among enemy units on the board. So, <clears throat> it's basically like a mega budget powder tower. <laughs> Alright, cool. So obviously we won't be able to get this card unless we battle all the way up to Milestone 6 and get 95 crowns, which is going to be super expensive. Anywho, as you can see, this brawl is uh, called Eye of the Tempest, and you have minus two mana for all spells. And it also ends in two days. How on earth are you supposed to get to milestone 10? You have four days to do it. That's insane. It's already ridiculous. Anyways, just to show you guys a little bit about how it works, we're going to be going into a match with first our regular cheating deck, and then if we win, I'm going to make a special all like spell oriented deck to try and win as you can see we have no ranks wait what deck is this oh shoot what deck am i using <laughs> i thought i was using my cheating deck i guess not i don't even think there are any spells in this deck that i'm using right now <laughs> okay so i'm clearly not utilizing the spell oriented deck idea but you know what it's okay i doubt this guy will be either also something i find curious is that you know how they had said that they're going to try to match you up with people of your same base health? I'm at 16 base health, and this guy's at 11, and the first card he put down is level 2. <laughs> I don't think they did a very good job of matchmaking like that. Ooh, a level 1 Needle Blast. Alright, so he took advantage of it for sure. But at what cost? Looks like that's going to unfortunately cost you the game, buddy boy. See ya. Oh, wait, I poisoned myself, didn't I? I'm actually... <laughs> I'm a big brain on so many levels. You, you you, have no hope. Shadow, get off my desk. Okay, so... I'm clearly the biggest brain you've ever seen. Oh, I do have a... Uh, I do have two spells. I got... Hall Militia and uh, Reign of Frogs. Alright, so I think I may have just made a colossal mistake, and I'm gonna start losing now. So, you know, it just be like that sometimes. I hope y'all can understand my absolute genius here. It's a bit hard sometimes, but <laughs> my plans often come to fruition about 40 years in the future. Uh, so I don't expect you to understand at this time, but y you'll see. You'll see later. Oh, I actually have a couple... What deck is this? What am I using? <laughs> well, I kind of have a quick meme that I could activate. Uh, just Azure Hatchers, Reign of Frogs, Kindred's Grace. That's a pretty powerhouse combo, yeah? Let's just do one of those. Do one of these. Throw down one of these for, you know, why not? And end our... Wait! Was it for that? I, don't, I have no clue what deck this is. You know, it's not really important. <coughs> Anyways, as I was saying, I think we definitely got this one in the bag. There's really not much he can do to defend at this point. I'm just so big brain. You're not even trying to defend yourself now. You're actually small brained. Yeah, let's 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 give him a chance. Let's give him a nice chance. We're gonna use Crimson Sentry. Take out his boys. Those guys will get poisoned and die. Actually, I don't feel like giving him a chance. We're no longer having fun. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <coughs> Easy clap. 
honestly, I kind of am the best Stormbound player on the planet, so. You know, hands down. Literally no contest. I'm just going to battle again with the same deck because it seems pretty good, and Kindred's Grace is less bad now that it costs two less mana, so I'm all for that. Also, we can get a bunch of earlier combos with our Obsidian Butchers because the Reign of Frogs only cost one now in this mode. Oh, looky, looky, looky. We got a level 16 guy. Hello there. Hand wave, wave and handshake. What? Come on, man. Boo. Can I get a boo in the comments below? Boo him if you don't like it. Boo. Really? You're actually out here. Out here being a little turd. <clears throat> okay, that's fine. I'm not angry. Rain of Frogs, don't go next to him. Alright, that's fine. I'll only lose one toad. That's, that is a okay. <coughs> Alright, so he's probably got... Let's see, he's using Shadow Fence, so he's probably got Rain of Frogs, Toxic Sacrifice, and Marked as Prey in his deck. Probably an Execution 2, because that's what all you basic fellas do. Ooh, a Venom False Fire. Wow, that matters a lot. I got a bunch of one strength, boys. Oh, easy clap. That actually works so well. I'm very happy with that. Alright, what is this? For each surrounding poison unit, spawn bordering. Okay, cool. I always have to reread that because I always forget. There's a guarantee. Wait a second. Guys, guys, guys. <laughs> Let's just. Let's just do it. Stress, stress, stress. <laughs> Apply so much stress. We do have a level four Kindred's Grace. So that's a pretty. That's a pretty thick card right there. Brood Sages. Uh, you're gonna spawn one, not two. Oh, boo! He spawned two toads. I'm afraid. This makes me. Can I just get a rip in the chat for my buddy boy here? Cause you know, I got obsidian butchers. Not really sure what the plan is here for you, but I think you just kind of super mega baited yourself. So. <clears throat> Let's just take away all of his one strength toads. They are now my strength toads. I'm gonna replace dubious hags. I don't want to give him any sort of footing in the front line. We're just gonna put our call militia down. <clears throat> all right, M Den Holm. That's what you get for not waving and handshaking. Look at this massive board control. Even though you're Shadowfen, I doubt you can turn this one around. If I eat my words, I'm just cutting out this whole this whole game. <clears throat> Alright, so a nice level 3 mark display. I was about to say 4. No, it's 3. Uh, what else are you going to do, Chief? An Azure Hatcher. Ooh. Alright. So let's just make short work of everything here and spawn a bunch of toads in my Brood Sage. Hopefully I don't feed his Obsidian Butchers, though. I know he's got them. It's, it's so obvious. I just need to make sure... <clears throat> it might not actually be smart to spawn my brood sages. <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't even seem too effective, anyways. Uh, or replace the Azure Hatcher. Mm, yeah, uh, maybe we should do it, anyways. Yeah, that wasn't too much, and I just took away one extra one. Plus, this guy will get poisoned, so it's fine. If he spawns the Obsidian Butchers, I'm not going to be paying for it too bad. Yeah, he's going to get plus one. All right, M. Den Holm. Look at this. Look at you. You're struggling out here. You don't even know that I have Claxi in my pocket. This is going to be just brilliant. <clears throat> my main goal is to blow up and also spawn Claxi. For real. That's so mean, dude. What are you... All right. That was unfortunately a half-decent play, so now I have to... Now I have to fix it. Alright, we're going to replace Obsidian Butchers. I think we're just going to be going for a, a Klaxi combo here. <coughs> Alright, then Reign of Frogs. Go put a bunch of fodder down. And we'll put our pirate. Um, hopefully he's going to spawn his Reign of Frogs too. So then I can steal all of it with Klaxi. Then next turn, Kinder's Grace. And then hopefully just make him rage quit right, right there. That's always the goal. Honestly, I find rage quitting so much more satisfying than winning. Uh, like, I just, I love it so much more. It just, that's how you know you really beat your opponent mentally, as well as in the actual game. Ooh, Brood Sages. Ooh, spicy. I'm assuming you didn't read the job description either of the Brood Sages, because clearly 
That was not too effective. Oh, yes. Okay, epic. <laughs> so this is gonna be, this is gonna be mm, slaps. Let's just. All right. This this is literally rage quit fuel right about now. How do you feel? How do you and the audience feel about that? I just wamboed this man into the eighth dimension. And now it's only going to get worse for the next turn. Because I'm just going to pop a Kinder's Grace on one of those ravens. Buff them all up. Boo! Copper skin, really? <clears throat> this guy's just stalling. I've been winning the whole game. He's just making it take longer than it has to. What a, what a, what a loser. Imagine trying to actually win the game. <laughs> Alright. He's got like nothing left on him. Oh, actually, I wonder. Replace those boys. Alright, cool. Uh I'll see if we can actually get Did I make an oopsie? I think I made an oopsie. It's okay, I don't really mind. We're just gonna Yeah, we'll we'll just buff up the Ravens. It doesn't really matter. There, 14 strength. What are you gonna do? You can't curse the strings that it's not poisoned. Oh, let's see. It's not poisoned, so you can't, you know, uh, hit it with marked as prey. You're also choked down the baseline. Give it up, fool, and give me my five rubies. Thank you very much. I, I greatly await your response. <clears throat> Three, two, one, surrender. Come on, man. You could. Oh, you could have just let me have it, but no, you had to do your cool little obsidian butcher thing, which won't even save you anyways. Unless you have like a level 5, no, even like a level 5 toxic won't do anything. So, unfortunately he didn't rage quit, which kind of sucks, but it's alright. He didn't wave in handshake, he got what he deserved. Anyway, so, uh, two, playing two matches of Stormbound just cost me 40 coins. And I got five rubies back. So, oh, jeez, this is just so not worth it. Next, to get up next one, if I win all three in a row, it's going to cost 150. That's ridiculous. Anyways, that was a little look into Brawl. As you saw, those uh, Eye of the Tempest things look actually pretty cool, like lowering the mana. And I'm hoping that we can actually get some Stormbound custom games soon with some of these rule sets. That will be really awesome, actually. And it would bring some new life into the game for sure. Anyways, um, one more thing before you leave. Uh, actually, I have the first episode of Moonlighter all recorded and cut together and edited. It actually is looking out to be really awesome. So I would really appreciate if you guys would go ahead and watch that video. It would be pretty super cool. Uh, I am definitely looking forward to playing more of that game. It's really fun, and I was actually grinding out a bit at school today. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like. It'll be cool if you leave a comment, and it'll be super if you'd subscribe. See you guys next time.